What exactly is SeaMonkey's Plasma 3, and what's in it? In this series, we're taking a look at every single SeaMonkey pouch under the microscope and testing them out on real SeaMonkeys. This purple and yellow pouch has a rather simple design, with a large number 4 graphic on the front. Let's take a look at the back to get an idea of what exactly it is and how it's supposed to work. How to use Plasma 3. New Plasma 3 is formulated so that 50% more young sea monkeys will grow and thrive in any ocean zoo aquarium. 10 days after hatching, not before, add 3 large scoops of Plasma 3 with the sea monkey feeding spoon. Stir the water. Once every 2 weeks thereafter, add 1 large scoop until finished. Now, I know the naming here is a little confusing, but to understand why Plasma 3 is packet number 4, you need to know a little bit about the history of this pouch. All modern sea monkey kits come with three packets, water purifier, instant live eggs and growth food. But this wasn't always the case. When those wave packet designs were released in 1968, they introduced plasma for the very first time. And back then, packet number one was water purifier, packet number two was the eggs, and packet number three was the living plasma. And this stuck around for quite a number of years, with both Ben Harvey and Henry Lamoth illustrating plasma packets in the 70s. So the plasma pouch and the number 3 kind of became synonymous with each other. But then in 1978, when the number graphic pouches came out, TransScience decided that plasma wasn't so essential, and so it was dropped from that core lineup and replaced by the food packet, which took the number 3 slot. Plasma was still available as a bonus pouch in some sea monkey kits though, so it was given the number 4, and the name was changed to Plasma 3. At least I think that's roughly what happened. I mean, there was a product called Plasma 2 listed for sale in the handbooks at some point as well, so to be honest, the timeline for this one is so muddled and confusing that getting to the bottom of it was kind of impossible. So like the others, this pouch had a few different looks over the years, but unlike every other packet we'll talk about today, Plasma has also come in a different size too. There have been two jumbo quart sized living plasma packets, one in 1968 and another in the early 70s with Joe Orlando's Sea Monkey Scientist illustration on it. Its function was for use in larger than normal sea monkey aquariums, perhaps for those doing DIY tanks. It's a pretty cool concept and something I'd love to see them re-release in the future. So let's take a look at this pouch under the microscope to get a better idea of what's in it and what it does. Just like the water purifier packet, Plasma 3 contains a lot of salt crystals, but also a whole bunch of sneaky sea monkey eggs, which is basically how this product works. It increases the tank's salinity, while simultaneously adding more eggs into the tank. For this experiment, I'm using one of the newest sea monkey tanks, the Ocean Treasure, which was first released in 2021. I filled this with low salinity salt water, and nothing else. My plan is to put in a few scoops of the Plasma 3 now, and continue to slowly add more over the next few days. We can check back later to see if any new babies have hatched from these eggs and appeared in the tank. Hey guys, it's time today for the Plasma 3 update, and I'm happy to say that despite this packet being several years old, the experiment was indeed successful. I've been slowly adding it into this ocean treasure tank over the last couple of days, and it's now got a whole lot of babies in there. So it seems that the magic of Plasma 3 helping more sea monkeys to hatch and grow is simply because it gives you a whole bunch of extra eggs.